Here we see droplets that appear to be falling in slow motion. This effect is due to the strobe light flashing at almost the same rate as the pump producing the drops, about 60 flashes per second. While this looks pretty, you might be wondering how a flashing light can make droplets move in slow motion. Let's start by looking at a computer animation showing drops falling with a strobe flashing at the same rate as the drops. The animation really is slowed down so we can study the details of the droplet motion. The dark green dots show the true motion of the drops as they fall. About once a second there is a bright flash of strobe light that illuminates the drops. Even though the strobe flash is very brief, your eye continues to see an image of the drop fixed in space at the moment of the strobe light flashed. This effect is known as persistence of vision and is shown in the animation as the bright green dots. The drops appear to be motionless because each time the strobe flashes, a new droplet appears at the same location as the old droplet. Since all the droplets look alike, we see what looks like a series of droplets hanging motionless in space. If we slow down the rate of strobe flashes by a slight amount, the effect is to make the droplets fall downward in slow motion. What really happens is the new drop reaches the position of the old drop and then falls a little bit past the position of the old drop before the strobe light flashes again. Thanks to persistence of vision, we see the drop fall only a tiny distance downward from one flash to the next. That's because we can only see the drops when the strobe light is flashing, and we don't see any of the motion that takes place when the strobe light's off. We can make the droplets appear to fall upwards by flashing the strobe light slightly faster than the drops. In this case, the strobe light flashes just before the new drop can fall to the previous position of the old drop. Instead of seeing the old drop fall down, persistence of vision leads your eye to connect the image of the old drop to the image of the new drop that is slightly higher than the old drop. The net effect is the drops now appear to fall upward. Persistence of vision doesn't really work unless the strobe flashes happen often more than about 15 flashes per second. Here we see 60 drops per second with a slightly faster flash rate making it seem like the drops fall upward. You can make your own strobe light to reproduce this effect on your own. Thanks for watching.